Hello beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, my name is Alexis. I am a board certified dermatologist. I have a background in cosmetic chemistry and I am obsessed with sunscreen. So this video is super excited because when Supergoop reached out to me and told me that they were gonna send me their new sunscreen that was launching in March, I was very excited, but always a little skeptical whenever it's a mineral sunscreen, because as you guys know, mineral sunscreens are notoriously not the best looking on darker skin tones. They tend to leave that ash or gray or purple look that none of us like. However, I'm a huge Supergoop fan. Their unseen sunscreen is just that clear and invisible on my skin and they told me that this new mineral sheer screen was going to be like that but was 100 mineral so i was extremely excited but a little skeptical so in this video i'm going to give you my 100 honest opinion on this sunscreen but i didn't want to just show you how it looked on my skin so i actually had my staff members try it too who are all various shades and tones some lighter than me some darker than me and i even asked my friend danielle of style and beauty doctor to try it out for her skin as well so you're going to get all of our opinions on this 100 mineral based sunscreen and what it looks like on skin of color First guys, everybody needs to be wearing sunscreen every single day, no matter your skin tone, no matter your ethnicity. Those harmful UVA, UVB rays can cause skin cancer. They can cause photo aging through the breakdown of collagen. They can cause worsening hyperpigmentation. Nobody wants that. So you definitely want to be wearing sunscreen and you want to find one that you really like. I am always on the hunt for a good mineral sunscreen. So I was super excited when Supergoop reached out to me for this partnership because as you guys know, my personal preference is to wear a mineral sunscreen. And guess what? This new one is 100% mineral. This is Supergoop's Mineral Sheer Sunscreen. It's SPF 30, 100% mineral, zinc oxide of 17.5, broad spectrum PA++++. So that means lots of UVA and lots of UVB protection. Plus it does have blue light protection. This sunscreen uses a bush clover extract for its blue light photo protection. This is actually harvested in South Korea and it's used there for many different medicinal purposes, but it can actually block blue lights, free radical damage and oxidative stress that we definitely don't want on our skin. I actually love this because usually we have to get the iron oxides for that blue light protection and iron oxides leave a tint that doesn't always look good on darker skin tones. If the tint is too light of a shade, again, you can look weird with that kind of gray white ash that none of us like. So the fact that this offered a different form of blue light protection was also very exciting for me. So that high energy visible blue light we found out is really not the best for hyperpigmentation. It can also have some aging properties to it. So any extra blue light protection that we can get is going to be amazing. So according to Supergoop, this mineral sheer SPF 30 is a barely there 100% non-nano zinc oxide face protector that glides on and blends effortlessly while leaving behind a smooth natural finish that wears well under makeup. So we are going to put this to the test. So let's get into this product review. So this sunscreen meets all of my personal requirements when it comes to a sunscreen. It's 100% mineral, which is my personal preference. It is fragrance free. Again, a personal preference because I have eczema and sensitive skin. It also has blue light protection. It goes on very smooth. It looks amazing under makeup. It actually is touted as a primer for underneath makeup. And it looks really good when you're not wearing makeup too. It does leave a very slight cast, which I'm going to show you guys here on me. It is really mild, definitely something that I would feel comfortable going out in, but I did want you guys to know if you are a similar shade to me or darker, you may have a slight cast if you wear it by yourself, but if you wear it underneath makeup, you definitely are not going to see anything. And if you're lighter than me, like my employee Stephanie, who's trying it here, you're not going to see any cast at all. 
Danielle is the true queen of sunscreen. She's got over 50 different videos of sunscreens on her channel. She's got a playlist for Korean sunscreens. She's got sunscreens for acne. She's got mineral sunscreens and chemical sunscreens. If there is a sunscreen, she has tried it. Her content is educational and super fun. So if you're looking for a learning and laughter, you definitely want to subscribe to her. That's why it was super important for me to get her opinion too. So let's see what she had to say. Hey everybody, my name is Danielle Gray. I am a beauty expert and content creator over at The Style and Beauty Doctor. I believe there is a sunscreen out there for everyone, so I do tons of sunscreen reviews, both mineral and chemical, over on my channel. I was actually pleasantly surprised by this sunscreen. The texture is amazing. It didn't feel like there was like several layers of like lard sitting on my face. Again, I have oily skin, so that was great. When you first put it on, you're gonna be like, I don't know. She said there wasn't a white cast, but this is looking very white. When you first put it on, it's going to look white, but as you blend it in, the white cast sort of, you know, kind of calms down. And then even after you finish applying it, still give it a couple of minutes because it may look like there's still a white cast, but after a couple of minutes, it, it goes away. You might see a very sheer, like just a little small, teeny amount of white cast. But when I tell you, I've tried tons of American mineral sunscreens and because of the nature of zinc oxide and titanium dioxide, it's kind of hard to mitigate that. Um, but this is one of the better ones that I've ever tried. Another thing, it works really beautifully with makeup. I know sometimes people are like, oh, I don't want to have to wear makeup, but sometimes with mineral sunscreen, you want to put, you know, something on to kind of either warm up your complexion, um, to maybe add some color back in. Um, but I found that this mineral sunscreen, I'm wearing it right now underneath my makeup. Um, throughout the day, I didn't notice any excess oiliness. Everything stayed put. My makeup performed as it usually does, which was great. Thank you so much again to Dr. Alexis for allowing me to be on her channel. I'm like one of her biggest stands. It's like, you know, it's like a dream come true being here. But thank you again. Bye. Superhoop is well known for their well-formulated sunscreens that go on flawlessly, especially that unseen sunscreen. You guys know that I love Superhoop. You've seen me feature them in a few videos before. I especially love that powder brush that you can use as a reapplication when you're on the go and you just need to easily reapply your sunscreen. Another amazing thing that I really love about Supergoop is that they share their efficacy reports. Did you know that half of the sunscreen products that are on the market actually fail to meet the SPF and water resistant claims? So Supergoop actually lived up to what they put on their package and they always share their full efficacy report for each of the products. And your sunscreen is the most important product you're putting on your skin to feel confident about. So the efficacy report that we're looking at right now is the Mineral Sheer Screen SPF 30 and as you can see, they clearly passed. Thank you so much, Supergoop, for partnering with me on this video and sending me the product before its launch date so that I could tell my subscribers as soon as it came out my true opinion. I think you guys are really going to love it. And if you, like me, are always on the hunt for a good mineral sunscreen and you've been looking for one that is sheer on the skin, doesn't have any tint, you definitely are going to want to try this one out. I hope that you guys enjoyed this review of the new Supergoop Mineral Sheer Screen. Please let me know if you have any questions for me down in the comment section below. Until next time, guys, be well.